AEW Revolution is coming on this Sunday and yes we are also doing AEW on this channel so here are my predictions for this year's AEW Revolution first match we have is between Jungle Boy and Christian Cage and this feud has gone on for too damn long bro like it started off with Jungle Boy eliminating Christian Cage in a Rumble match to go proceed for I think if I could remember for the AEW Championship for a chance of for the AEW Championship then he managed Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus Christian Cage managed Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus then they won the championship and then Christian Cage turned his back on Jungle Boy and then he got injured Christian Cage got injured then it like he managed Luchasaurus like it has gone too long bro like it's gone too long because of Christian Cage's injury which is completely understandable but I'm just glad and happy that this feud or this match will end or this feud will end but I just want to say that I'm glad and happy that this will be the blow off match and my prediction for this one will be Jungle Boy winning and I don't know what's next for Christian Cage but I just hope that it will be another like run for Jungle Boy going for a singles title next match is for the tag team championship between 14 between the champions the guns versus the acclaimed versus Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett versus Dan Housen and Orange Cassidy Dan Housen and Orange Cassidy just qualified for this match and yes I am recording the day after Dynamite so if there are more matches announced in Rampage I'm just gonna leave it down in the comments. This is going to be a fun match because if you look at throughout their history Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal had issues with Orange Cassidy and Dan Housen then you also have the Acclaim in that one and the Acclaim versus the Guns like you just combine those four teams with who has current rivalries and into a tag team match and that's gonna be cool so yes i think and my predictions will be the guns retaining because it will be weird that will be the first title defense that they're going to lose so yeah the guns are going to retain and they are go and i think they are going to lose their titles to fdr which i think might come back anytime this year if their contract runs out or something but yes i think they're going to drop to fdr so the guns will remain as champions for this match but i'm just glad that dan Housen gets his time to shine in a pay-per-view match because we all know he's a good wrestler but like in the mainstream or more casual fans which is okay you don't know how good Dan Housen is so yes I think we're going to have like that do you know if you remember those uh, Kenny Omega versus Pac versus Orange Cassidy in the triple threat championship match if you remember that I think it's going to be the same with the team of Cassidy and Dan Housen so yes I am excited for this match and I'm excited to see these people going to show off and going to work in this match bro and i think it's going to be a fun match because hey goofy wrestling for life bro like what simon miller said goofy wrestling for life next match is chris jericho versus ricky starks with js banned from ringside i have ricky starks bro like it's his time to shine this year I give it this year to ricky stark like he could win a championship this year as well like a tnt or a all american or all any of that but hey give it to ricky starks i think it's time to shine it's okay for Chris jericho to win and to lose though because like you know he's all right with that and he's good to help other people or other talent rise as well so yeah ricky starks will win next is for the AEW TNT championship match between samoa joe versus wardlow this match is one of the hardest matches to predict in this card because they are two men who could either way win the title this on this pay-per-view but since powerhouse hubs won the face of the revolution match and dynamite i think that samoa joe should retain his match and retain his championship i mean and lose to it to powerhouse on dynamite and it's going to be cool it's going to be fun because i think once he drops his title samoa joe can focus on roh because roh already has a weekly show we can focus on that brand and elevate it and uh, we have our own TNT championship it's going to be fun but hey it's also it was also weird for Wardlow winning then maybe dropping it to powerhouse hubs because I think powerhouse hubs should be the title contender but hey either way anything can happen it's always hard to predict but yes I have some Joe winning this one and losing his championship to Ward uh, to powerhouse house but hey this match is going to be great this match is going to be good because it's a big man slapping man meet. next is for the aew women's championship match between champion jamie hater versus ruby soho versus saraya this feud has gone on for like kind of weird i mean because it's like it's like the outsiders of saraya and tony storm then you have jamie hater and 
Great Playgrounds, the originals. We have Ruby Soho in the middle. So yeah, it's kind of weird, but I think this will lead on to a Blood and Guts match between the women's division this time. And yes, but during this match, I think it's going to be Jamie Hater retaining because I'm a hater. That's all everybody wants. And yes, you know, Jamie Hater is that good. So yes, I think Jamie Hater is going to return, or rather retain her championship. But this feud will go on for too long. I don't know where Ruby Soho will end up with. But this will lead on to a Blood and Guts match. Maybe towards the end of this year or anytime this year. So yes, Jamie Hater retains this one. Next is for the AEW World Trios Championship match between the Elite and the House of Black. The build to this match has been weird because it has just been on off on off light between the House of Black and the Elite. But hey, at the, for their focus is the destination, right? And we're going to have this match on Revolution. And we all know it's going to be a banger because it's the Elite and it's the House of Black. And I think this might be match of the night. And I really hope this match of the night. So yes, I have the House of Black winning this one. It's okay for the Elite to lose because I think their championship reign has been good. Especially when they had those matches with the Top Flight and Air Fox. And I think I forgot the others as well. But hey, their championship or their title reign has been great and decent. But hey, give it to the House of Black so they can be more featured in AW. Like their Dynamite Rampage, they can be more seen, more, more seen on TV, right? More seen on TV. And you can have the Young Bucks go back to the tag team division. You can have Kenny just do his thing and be Kenny Omega and become one of the best sisters on the planet, which is already is. So, yes, let the House of Black win this one. And yo, I can't see, I can't wait. There are more, more, more feuds coming up, so yes, give it to the House of Black. Next is a Texas death match between Hangman Adam Page versus John Moxley. Now, this match is the hardest match to predict in this card. Like what I said with Samoa Joe and Wardlow, it was one of the hardest. This is the hardest. Like it's hard to predict who would win here. But hey, this will be a brutal match. Like you see the John Moxley promo, you see the Hangman Page promo on Dynamite. They are both so good. And bro, Moxley look like a machine out there. So yes, this will be a blood food match. Because if you see their death match or no Bar board match, it has all been brutal. And we're going to have this match between the both of them and for me though for me i think this should be a lights out match on revolution like this should go after the mock mjf and brian danielson card match but hey this has been good and this is going to be brutal so yes i don't know who to predict here and it has been so hard because like their feud has started off with the hangman hangman giving getting concussed and then him forgetting his the name of his case during the concussion and all of that stuff. Moxley just being brutal Moxley. So yeah, bro, it's hard. But based on the story, I think Hangman would win here. Hangman would win here. I don't know what's next for both of them. Whoever wins. Maybe it's a title feud with MJF, maybe, or Brian Danielson. So I don't know what's next. But hey, this match is going to be brutal. It's either this one. Or the Elite and the House of Black will be the match of the night. But hey, if you're ready for this one, if you're not ready, I tell you, just be ready. Because this is going to be blood everywhere. And you know, most the matches are blood already. It will be blood everywhere. And it will be brutal. Like I tell you, brutal. So yes, I'm going to have Hangman Adam Page winning this one. And lastly, we have for the AEW Championship in a 60-minute Iron Man match between champion MJF versus Brian Danielson. This feud has been good. Like, it turned into reality and it turned to a lot of people believing in wrestling once again because of the heel work of MJF and Brian Danielson as one of the best, or maybe, arguably, the best in wrestler in the world today. So, yes this feud has been so good it has been so so good and yes MJF should retain I think this will be a good match like a very good match like those three matches Texas Death Match, Hangman Adam Page and uh, Moxley versus the House and then they also have the House of Black and the Elite Match and you also have this match either of those three matches is going to be match of the night 
and this match is going to be good and i think it will end up in like two two three final score so yes i have mjf retaining this one because it's his first title defense bro so it would be weird for him to lose in his first title defense and yes brian danielson also wants to elevate also young guns and young play people so yes this will be a good match it will be a great match as well but yes i have mjf winning i don't know who's next few days i don't know what's also next for brian danielson but i hope the best for them in the next coming few months but hey mjf wins this one will have a long title reign and will probably reach to 2024 before his contract expires so yes mjf wins and retains the aew championship so those are my predictions for aew revolution if you have also different thoughts and predictions on this one leave it down in the comment section down below and yes i am doing predictions in this channel and maybe possibly more wrestling content as well coming soon so yes if you like those types of content subscribe to this channel leave a like and subscribe i'll see you all soon peace